guys good morning i hope you guys are all doing well and welcome back to my channel so today i have a very exciting video i'm going to be doing a fall book haul as well as show you guys my tbr book cart i caved in and finally got my very own book cart which i'm really really excited to use i have gotten so many books over the past couple months both from barnes and noble amazon and also a couple from comic con and san diego as well i'm sure you guys noticed something a little different in my room i decided to put up some wall art that i got from etsy i got one that says pho which is a traditional vietnamese dish and then over here here, I got some koi fishes. Also brought out my pumpkins as well to add to the fall decor. I'm so excited for fall guys. Like I am so ready for sweater weather and just curl up with a good book. So yeah. Anyways, I was able to put together my very first book cart today. I got the mini one at Michael's and I think it's the perfect size for my room. I'm going to show you guys very soon and I'm also going to be showing you guys the new books that I got too so we'll be adding those new books onto my TBR cart so yeah I'm so excited to show you guys it's so cute it fits perfectly in my room anyways let's get right into the video okay I just brought over my book cart and isn't she so cute <laughs> I don't think you guys can really see much of her because she is on the shorter side but I'll make sure to do like a full on like um, showcase of all of it once I'm done with the whole book haul. So yeah, I think it's so adorable. She's really tiny and cute. Anyways, I have so many books. Let me show you guys. I have like, got two bags from Barnes & Noble. And I got a book bag from Meet Cute, which is a combination of books I bought from this store in San Diego as well as Comic Con. So I'll do an unhaul on that as well. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out the books and then I'll slowly just stack them on my TBR cart. That way you guys can see which books I got. Okay, the first book I got, I feel like, is the book that I'm most excited to read, and that is Divine Rivals. I'm sure you guys have seen this book all over Book Talk. It has been blowing up so much lately. The cover is so gorgeous. I remember seeing this for the first time, and I thought it was so beautiful. I love the black with the pop of a royal blue. When I saw this, I knew I had to grab a copy for myself, and it's like this beautiful matte material. Also, when you open it up, it's like it's bright blue in there. I feel like no one really cares but I love it. I love that it's like a nice bright blue in here. It's placed during the wartime and it's about these two young journalists, Iris and Roman, who are basically rival journalists. So Iris is currently really struggling. Her and her family are really struggling throughout the war. She is really missing her brother and they find out that her brother has been missing from the military lines. So she is really stressed and sad about this. So in order to combat her stress and sadness, she starts to write letters to her brother. Which she then flips underneath her wardrobe door, magically sends off to the destination that she's trying to send the letters to. But what she doesn't realize is that these letters are actually being sent to her rival journalist, which is Roman, whom she works with. He ends up writing back to her. She doesn't know this, but he does. And from there, their romance sparks. I heard that it's an absolutely beautifully written story and that their romance is just like amazing. So I'm really excited to read how that unfolds. The next book I have is also another book that had really blowing up over book talk. A couple of booktubers also recommending this series as well. And it is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I'm sure you guys recognize this author. She is the author of The Inheritance Games which I still need to get to. I'm so behind on my reading, guys. Like, I definitely need to read that. I heard that this is really, really good. It is a mystery slash thriller. I don't normally read mysteries or thrillers, but I'm trying to like get out of my comfort zone uh, these next couple months and try something new. I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I'm super, super excited. So this book is about 17-year-old Cassie, who is a natural at reading people. She's very talented. She has a skill that not many people have. And then one day the FBI comes around and they're basically putting together this like classified program with a whole bunch of talented teenagers. When she gets here, she finds out that there's a killer on the loose, so she ends up teaming with a whole bunch of other gifted teenagers, and they all use like their talents to figure out cases and crime mysteries. So it sounds very, very interesting. It sounds very good. I heard it's very fast paced and that it definitely keeps you on your toes and that each book in the series has its own case. So I'm really excited to go through it. And the next book I have is also another very popular book, Belladonna by Ellen Grace. 
and this cover is so pretty my favorite part is this spray edges like oh my goodness isn't it gorgeous when I got this at Barnes & Noble, the cashier told me that this is a new release and that they recently did these sprayed edges. So I'm really glad I was able to get a copy of this. It says, For as long as Signa Pharaoh has been alive, the people in her life have fallen like stars. So this is a gothic fantasy romance. A story about Signa who has been orphaned throughout her life and she has been raised by different relatives growing up and unfortunately a lot of them have mysteriously fallen ill which a lot of people don't know what happened but finally she is taken in by her last set of relatives who are called the Hawthorns and they're described as an eccentric family living at Thorn Grove, an estate both glittering and gloomy. So while she's living here, she encounters her mother's spirit that tells her that she wasn't poisoned. So this gets her thinking like, okay, I want to figure out what's going on. This is really eerie. She decides to team up with Death. Death in here is an actual like figure, like an actual person to solve this case so that she can try to protect her family down the line. I heard that there's a romance between her and Death. I want to see how this goes about in the storyline. I think it's the perfect read for Halloween season because it has a bit of like spookiness to it and a romance and darkness for this holiday season. You know what I just realized? That I wasn't adding the books to the cart. <laughs> I'm just like setting it down. But yeah, let me go ahead and add the books that I've been talking so far. I have the naturals. Oh wow, that's so satisfying. Ooh, oh my god, this is so exciting. I get why people love their TBR cart. It's just so nice to look at. I just had them like in the corner of my room, so I love that you can like display them now. So yeah. And they're all like the same colorway right now, so I'm very satisfied with that. Okay, the next book I have is One for My Enemy by Olive Blake. So it is basically a Romeo and Juliet retelling that takes place in modern day Manhattan, New York, which uh, is between two rival witch families, which consists of the Antonova sisters and the Federov brothers. They're just trying to maintain their criminal. Empire cover is just so beautiful. I also opened it up and the inside is gorgeous as well. There's art inside. So the front cover has this. This is the Antonova sisters. Beautiful. And then on the very back is the Federov brothers. I want to show you guys something new that I got. <laughs> Isn't she so cute? I absolutely love the color for the Stanley. I was definitely influenced. I saw so many booktubers have this and I thought it's so cute. So the next book I picked was something for Halloween. I really wanted like a Halloween themed book. So I picked up The X-Hex by Erin Sterling. I saw Hailey Barber actually talking about this book so I figured I'd pick it up for the Halloween season. It looks really cute. This book is about Vivian who is a witch who is basically very broken hearted about her breakup with her ex. So she decides to make a little curse, a little spell to put on him, which she thought would be absolutely harmless. She just wanted to get back at him for, you know, the breakup. So she casts a spell on him, not thinking that anything would happen. Fast forward a couple years later, Rise, he is back in town. He doesn't realize that her spell actually blew up and went completely wrong. So once he comes back in town, all these paranormal activity start happening in her hometown and things start getting really bad. So she has to team up with him and figure out what to do in order to get her town back in order. So I'm guessing their romance starts to spark again. I feel like this would be a very fun read for the Halloween season. It's really short. I think it's like, let me see how many pages it is. It is 308, so it's very, very short read. It should be a really short and fun read, so yeah. And then the next book I picked up is A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas, which is the novella in the series. I love the cover. I think it's so pretty. Then I have King of Pride by Anna Huang. I absolutely love this cover as well. I love the purple feathers and the sign is gorgeous too. So this story follows Kai and Isabella who are briefly introduced in The King of Wrath. 
and basically Kai is this billionaire heir. He's very cool and reserved. He takes things very seriously. And on the other hand, Isabella is the life of the party. She's very energetic. She's full of life. She works as a bartender at the exclusive Bahala club that Kai comes to. They're just polar opposites and they end up falling in love with each other. I absolutely love Anne Huang. I've been a huge fan of her ever since I read the Twisted series. This was definitely on one of my earlier TBR list, but I didn't get a chance to get to it. So I really hope I can get to it on these months. I to put this one too. We have The Serpent, The Wings of the Night by Carissa Broadbent, categorized as The Hunger Games meets Vampires. It's about Uriah who is adopted into a knight-born vampire king's family. And in order to establish herself as an individual and establish herself in the world, she enters this tournament called the Kijari, a legendary tournament that takes place. In order to survive, she tries to make an alliance with Rain. It's described as dangerous and a ruthless vampire, an enemy to your father's crown. But but she's desperate so she makes an alliance with him and from there their, their romance grows it's an enemies to lover fantasy romance so i'm very very intrigued heard nothing but great things about this so i'm really looking forward to this one so we have icebreaker by hannah grace this is an ice skating sports romance i heard this is a very spicy sports romance i think this would be really fun for the winter time i've never read a sports romance yet so i feel like this would be a nice addition to my tbr so yeah then we have My Dark Romeo by Parker S. Huntington, L.J. Shen. It's also a Romeo and Juliet retelling. I honestly mainly got this book because of the cover. I think it's so beautiful. I love how there's uh, angels. It's a very aesthetic book. Then I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It's been really popular for a while now. I just never got a chance to read it yet. My friend actually gifted me this book, so I'm really excited to read it. Evelyn Hugo who takes you behind the scenes of what it's really like to be a star, like the goods and the bads of it. It's you old Hollywood vibes. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Next, we have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I heard these are two separate authors. And this was actually recommended by one of my subscribers. Well, Macy, she's about to get married soon, but suddenly Elliot, her ex slash childhood lover, comes into the picture again. He's back in town. I've heard it's a very wholesome and very touching story. Next we have Thorn Princess by LJ Shen. It's about this Hollywood princess who is falling apart so her father ends up hiring a bodyguard for her to get her life together. He's the one that ends up saving her and putting her back together and she ends up falling for him. Then we have Neon Gods by Katie Roberts and this is a modern retelling of Hades and Persephone. Then we have Dance of Thieves by Mary E. Pearson. I honestly don't know too much about this book. I know that it's a very adventurous fantasy. I wanted to add this to my TBR too. Then I have Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong and this is the book that I actually got from Comic Con. It's signed by Chloe Gong herself Self, which was so exciting. I actually got to meet her and I thought she was so so sweet. She was able to sign it for me. It was so exciting because this is officially my first book signing ever. So glad I was able to meet her at Comic Con. It was actually very unexpected. I wasn't going to Comic Con to meet her. I didn't even know she was going to be there but as I was browsing the booths, I found out from one of the book booths that they were gonna be having her as one of the guest signers. So I decided to stop by and I'm so glad I did. I knew I wanted a copy of this. And what better to get a copy of this than Comic Con with Chloe Gong herself there. This next book is called Too Wrong To Be Right by Melanie Johnson. I actually got this book in San Diego at this really cute bookstore called Meet Cute. I stumbled across this book and I just thought the cover was really cute. What caught my attention the most is that Meet Cute has signed copies and this one actually is a signed copy. All these cute little freebies in here as well. A hedgehog sticker and there's a signed paper which also has the hedgehog and the little birdie. Bookmarks, stickers, <laughs> a lot of sticker there. I like big books. I'm going to definitely add this to my Kindle. I'm planning on decorating it so I'll film a video to show you guys. I feel like it's going to be a very cute and fun read. A nice palette cleanser between my other books. The next book I got was a random book that I stumbled across at Comic Con. It's called Ebony Gate by Julia V and Ken and Bebel. They're both so sweet as well. I honestly don't know too much about this book. I bought it because the cover looked really cool. I saw that they had a bookmark that comes with it. A cool sword bookmark slash sticker. And the authors also signed the book as well. So it's signed by Julia V and also Ken. 
And I love the fact that Ken says, drink more boba. <laughs> I laughed out loud when I saw this. I was like, okay, this book was meant to be because I absolutely love boba and the fact that he likes it too and he signed about boba. The last three books I have is actually on my Kindle. It is the Chestnut Springs series by Elsie Silver. I've heard a lot of good things about it. I've heard like Alexa Ray raving about it. I'm really looking forward to reading this series. And yeah, I just downloaded Flawless and then downloaded the rest of the series on my Kindle. And those are all of the books. They look so good on my TBR. I love a good book haul. Anyways, that concludes my book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>